Good evening and welcome to the Financial Week. I'm Javon Keyes. Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark says Jamaica has benefited tremendously from the European Union's public finance management reform program. Now, speaking at a town hall discussion this afternoon, Dr. Clark pointed to the changes made through the program, including the provision of a citizen's budget and advanced provisional projections in the annual national budget. Now, the minister says additional reforms are coming. We're working on improving centralized treasury management, making that as robust as, as possible. Uh, we have to work on making sure that the, uh, the you know, improving the citizens' budget, as we were discuss, uh, discussing a while ago. Um, out, you know, we have been working on putting in place a fiscal commission. Uh, the law has been passed. We want to uh, get that institution up and running, and that is in train in terms of uh, making sure you know, recruit the right uh, the recruitment and the offices, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, to to make that a reality. Now, Dr. Clark says further strengthening of the budget planning process will also be undertaken. The agreement for the EU Public Finance Management Reform Program was signed in 2019, valuing 3.65 million euros. On to currency, the Jamaican dollar gained some ground on the U.S. dollar today after two days of record lows. It now costs 155 Jamaican dollars for one U.S. dollar on average. Banks and cambios are selling the Canadian dollar for $124.49. It's costing $214.32 for the pound sterling, while the euro is trading at $185.62. Now to some company news, Cygnus Real Estate Finance Company, a part of the Cygnus Group, has published its prospectus to list on the main market of the Jamaica Stock Exchange. The company will have 207.6 million ordinary shares on offer in two classes, Jamaican and U.S. dollar currency. Now the company has the possibility to add an additional 38 million shares. The Cygnus REF Jamaican dollar shares will sell for $19.30 each, while each U.S. dollar share will cost $0.13 cents US per share. The minimum share purchase is 1,000 shares. The company says these will be allotted on a first-come, first-served basis. Cygnus REF is hoping to raise 3.9 billion Jamaican dollars to meet its key strategic objectives of expansion in the local real estate market. Now, the prospector should open on July 23 and run until August 20. Now to stocks, the JSC index declined by 796 points, while the junior market index declined by 21 points. Now among the winners were SSL Venture Capital Jamaica, iCreate Limited, AMG Packaging and Paper Company, Epley and Jamaica Producers. While on the losing side were CAC 2000, Epley 8.75% preference shares, Consolidated Bakeries, Paramount Trading and 138 Student Living Jamaica. Now on to some news in tourism. Chairman of Couples Resorts, Lee Issa, is expecting a strong recovery for the local tourism industry this year. Now he says occupancy levels are already favorable. We're seeing signs of recovery. All the couples resorts now are experiencing low 60s, mid 60s percent occupancy, which is the best we've seen since the pandemic started. So I think we're on the road to recovery. And my expectations are that we're going to have a record fall and winter season for the entire island of Jamaica when it comes to the tourism industry. And that's it for the Financial Week. I'm Javon Keyes. Good evening.